And what's even more amazing is that a number of these videos that are popping up have very minimal editing on them. They're not these like hyper edited videos. A lot of them have very minimal editing, but I'm noticing two things across all of these videos from small channels that are popping off. Number one, it is very YouTube is changing. And I know I can't be the only one who's noticing this. Whenever I log into YouTube now, I'm seeing a whole bunch of like small creator channels popping up on my front page. And all of these videos are getting like thousands of views within a couple of days. And I'll investigate the channel and I'll see that the channel has maybe a couple thousand subscribers or even just a couple of hundred. And I'm one of the people who's actually even benefited from something like this. And I think it signals something to me. I think what we're seeing in the rise of these small creator channels is signifying number one, there is a change in the algorithm behind the scenes where YouTube is now incentivizing smaller channels to create more. And just thinking about this from like a business perspective, it is in the best business interest of YouTube to allow more creators to rise up. Because if you only have a select handful of mega channels, then ultimately you're limiting yourself in terms of your scope of placing ads because you can only place so many ads on any one given video or selection of videos. And so it is in the best interest of YouTube to have more channels pop up because it creates more opportunities for ad revenue for them. But it also works really well for smaller creators because YouTube is this incredible platform that serves as a medium for promoting your business, whatever it is. The thing about all of these small creator channels is that they seem to span like the gamut in terms of niche. You have creators whose business is the concept itself, like they are YouTubers and that is what their business is. And then you have other creators for whom YouTube is just an avenue to build their personal brand so that it can add to their business, which isn't necessarily tied to YouTube. That's where I find myself. And I'm seeing all types of videos across all types of niches blow up. And I think this is amazing. It signals a change in the algorithm where YouTube is favoring, I believe, smaller channels because I think from their perspective, it's better for their business. It creates a better, more satisfied customer base, namely us, where we have more variety of things to watch. But also the more channels that are monetized, the more ads you can place, the more money YouTube makes. And so it's really helpful for YouTube it's really helpful for small creators as well. It also signals that even in this day of short form content, long form still reigns. Like long form is where you're able to communicate ideas at length. Long form is where you're able to build loyalty. Long form is where you're able to show expertise. Long form is where you're able to build community, which is ultimately what YouTube was originally supposed to be. And I, for one, I'm really happy to see the platform seem to begin to look more like what it was always designed to be an opportunity for individuals to express themselves and show their expertise and in so doing build an audience and it doesn't seem to just be being gate kept to like a select few mega influencers it really does feel as though anybody can really make it on this platform especially in this year and so what i'm noticing for all of these videos that are popping off from these really small channels is number one all of these channels seem to have a sense of who it is they're trying to serve and so because of that, they are providing real value in these videos, right? There's not a lot of fluff. There's not a lot of unnecessary things. And they just go straight to the point and deliver value in these videos. And I think that also contributes to the second thing that I'm noticing in a lot of these videos. A lot of them feature very little to no editing at all. And so this like hyper edited style, you'll still have it on the platform, but I'm seeing a lot of more raw looking videos. But I think the thing that's driving these videos forward is the authenticity, the transparency, and ultimately the value that these channels are giving to the people. And so for somebody like myself, whose content revolves around entrepreneurship, starting a business and running a business and personal development, I'm finding that even these types of videos that I've been experimenting with seem to be working as well and so if you're thinking about creating content or starting a YouTube channel or posting more on YouTube I would encourage you to do this YouTube has this incredible ability to do two things if you have a business that exists outside of YouTube YouTube allows you to build a very strong personal brand and community that will help promote that business and help grow that business which exists outside of YouTube but it also has this incredible ability where YouTube itself becomes another revenue stream and another business in and of itself and so I would say just start right 
All of us have an expertise in something. All of us know something that maybe other people don't know, and it doesn't hurt to begin to put yourself out there. I'm very happy to see YouTube going back to what I think it was always designed to be. And so go ahead, create your content. I would just say two things. Number one, try to get a sense of who it is you're trying to serve. And I understand that you don't, you might not always know what that is. You gotta, you gotta take all the shots. You gotta miss all the shots until you finally get the right one. You gotta create a lot of bad art before you make good art. And you gotta make a lot of good art before you make great art but as much as you can try to get a sense of who it is you are trying to serve and when you go to recording these videos right don't just ramble okay myself and a lot of these small creators before we get on camera like this we kind of have either a script whether it's word for word or bullet points about what we're going to talk about and that enables us to do that very thing that is connecting with audiences right now which is the number one give value get straight to the point because we have an idea of what it is we're going to communicate and then you do it you put it out into the world, be honest, be truthful, be authentic, and in time you will see compounding benefits. So I think now is the time. I think there's never been a time where it was easier or more possible to make money online, to start a business, and to really begin to design the kind of life that you want to design for yourself. And so now is the time to start. This is the year to start. Put yourself out there, create your content about what it is that you do, about who you are as a person. And if you commit to doing this consistently for the next six months to a year, I'm sure even you will be surprised at just how much further you see yourself go. So go ahead, create the content. YouTube is changing and I think it's for the better. So seize the opportunity and do the thing. If you don't know who I am, my name is Shope. I'm an Afrofusion recording artist and an entrepreneur. And so I make music and have a couple of businesses outside of music that thankfully allow me to control my time, my income, and to build the kind of life that I want for myself and my family. And my entire mission with this channel is to share the lesson that I'm learning as I go through life, both as a creative and as an entrepreneur. So if any of that stuff sounds interesting to you, then you know what to do. Like, comment, share with a friend, do all of the things, subscribe and hit the bell notification. And if you want to get these insights before anybody else, then be sure to join my artist CEO newsletter. The link for that is in the description. Now check out this playlist for some great music and this playlist for some additional great insights. I'll see you next time. Peace. I'll admit it. Yeah, I get it. You be holding me down for a minute.